Motivational Monday. Cheers. I almost had a panic attack. This is like only a half a cup of coffee left and I went to go get it before I sat down here to do this video. And somebody was in the kitchen kind of moving things around and I was like, oh, did you pour my coffee out? So this might be the one thing that you need to get motivated. But I wanted to bring up another point and that is ask for some help. Sometimes you just need somebody to help you out a little bit and that's enough to get you motivated. There's an old saying that many hands make light work. And what it means is that a task that maybe seem overwhelming or daunting might be a lot for one person to do, but two or more can get the job done faster. And you have an opportunity to get this little banter going between you, whoever you're working with, to maybe help things along. So get some help. And you know, people don't always know that you need the help, so you, you need to not be afraid to ask. Another little thing that you can do that may help is if you have kids, set up a chore list. Um, I think this is important for a couple reasons. First of all, like I said, it helps to have help, right? But also, you know, everybody lives in the house and so everybody should be contributing to the upkeep and the management of the house. There's that. And you wanna teach your children how to take care of their personal things as they're growing up. So. Of course you want it to be age appropriate. A little child can still pick up their toys and put them in the toy box or wherever you keep them. It may not be neat and organized, but at least they're not on the floor anymore. And as they get older, you can start introducing new tasks to help them along, you know? Maybe next thing they start putting away the clothes or helping you fold the clothes or learning how to make the bed or doing the dishes. We all had to do dishes, right, when we were growing up. I know I hated it, but, um, I had to learn it just like everybody else uh, taking out the trash picking up the living room and just keep going along as we get you know as they get older and earn more you know develop more skills so that they can help with more around the house now I know there's different feelings about this first of all you don't want something that's going to take away from their education or be a distraction to the other parts of their life that's important um, but you know there's that and there's always the topic of allowance I I personally do not believe in allowances for the very reason that you live here this is partly your space too you should help with keeping it in a orderly and sanitary condition because you, nobody's gonna pay you to clean your own house when you get older too so I, I don't typically believe in allowances now if you have a huge project and you need some help and you're getting your kids into it then yes I think it's okay to pay them for that particular task on an agreed about on an, on an agreed upon amount and it would probably be in my case when I did that it was more than what I would be giving them as an allowance so you know if your garage is completely out of hand and you're maybe you know trying to clean that out or get ready for a yard sale pay your kid you know a set dollar amount or maybe a percentage of the yard sale or uh, you know that's just an example maybe there's a huge lawn project and there's a lot of physical work you know that's gonna that would warrant more money than say you know cleaning out the refrigerator or whatever you know so make it appropriate but I you know so I do believe in that but not necessarily a weekly allowance um, I don't know that's just my personal feeling I don't know I don't think everybody agrees upon that but that's how I feel about it and then um, I make my money off of helping people so if you're in a circumstance where it's just too much your life is too hectic you still are managing to keep your house tidy but you need somebody to come in and do the really dirty work somebody like me you know it's okay to hire um, somebody to do it if you have the means to pay for something like that there was a lady I'll never forget this I will never ever forget this this lady she had a blended family it was almost the Brady Bunch I think there was five or six kids in this house she had a business her husband had a business and with that many kids you know somebody's got their hands full 
and she asked me to come in and help her get her house a little more organized and she was in tears she was she actually cried to me because she said that her grandma would be so ashamed of her for hiring somebody to clean her house and I thought that's so sad you know a good businesswoman knows how to delegate and she just delegated this task to me you know so it was a win-win for both of us she got her house clean and I got a job you know so if you're one of those who are feeling guilty because you can't handle it all, don't do that. Don't do that. Nobody is Wonder Woman or Wonder Man, Superman. Um, it's okay to ask for help. So hopefully that helps get you motivated. And again, I want to thank everybody for watching, for the thumbs up, for the subscribers. Thank you so much. Please leave me comments or questions below and I will see you again. Bye-bye.